Today I want to go over the anatomy of a flutter view which is built using the scaffold. The scaffold represents a single screen. You can think of it as a view or a page in flutter. It gives you the building blocks to build mobile UI consistent with what is currently expected. Welcome to the Full Stacks YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you are new and if you are not, welcome back. Let's look at some of those blocks. You can easily supply functioning app bar that changes its own state based on your navigation stack. You can also add a side drawer of any styling that can be pulled out by swiping from the left edge of the screen. You can also add a floating action button that floats above all of the UI in your scaffold. In addition to that, you can easily add your bottom navigation to your scaffold widget. Separately to the on-screen UI elements, they are also dynamic UIs built into the scaffold. One of the most used ones being the snack bar. The one other thing that the scaffold is also great for is subscribing to this channel. If you like this video, please do that. I have a lot more coming soon. The other dynamic piece of content that I want to mention is the bottom sheet. Those are the basic building blocks of a view. And now I want to take a closer look at the app bar. The app bar has all the basic functionality you need for a mobile app's top navigation. It adjusts to fit the iOS or Android style depending on your platform. It has a built-in back button that will show up by default when you supply the app bar and navigate to a different view. When you supply a drawer there's a deep dive at the end it automatically shows a hamburger menu for you but you don't need to use the default icons you can easily supply your own widget by passing it to the leading property on the drawer app bars usually have titles as well and this is no different you can set your title using the title property and it doesn't only take text it's actually a widget and takes any kind of UI that you want to show the other common thing around titles in app bars is that in some mobile apps it's placed in the center. In this case, you can simply set center title equal to true. Now you must be wondering how you can change the colors of these icons and titles globally. Well, you can simply supply a theme to your app bar. You can supply a text theme or you can supply an icon theme. The last common set of functionalities for the app bar is a way to provide the users with actions on your specific view. To do that, you supply a list of actions. Each action takes a simple widget. It's easy if you use the icon button for this functionality because it has the icon UI, the proper spacing, as well as the on-pressed handle that you can use to perform any action in your view. Now, before we wrap this up, let's take a look at another part of the scaffold that's pretty powerful compared to the way you had to do it in the native Android before, and that is the drawer. This is an actual widget called drawer that can be added to your scaffold. It allows you to update your shadow depth with the elevation property. It has a property called child that takes a single widget and I usually give it a column. Now in addition to the drawer, there's also more extra widgets that pair well with the drawer. The first one we look at is the drawer header. This gives you a basic drawer where you can add your own layout and child. But you also get the user profile header. This is specifically made for showing a user profile in the drawer. You can supply the email, name and the profile picture. And lastly, you can supply list style widgets to get the basic navbar action item look. It takes in an icon, title and an on tap function. That is the basic anatomy of a Flutter mobile view. Use the scaffold and friends to help build consistent mobile UIs and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, I would appreciate it a lot.